What up, y'all? It's your man, Oppo American. Uh, before I get into this video, let me tell you that everything I'm about to say here is going to be in detail in my betting course, but I'm just going to talk about this in a general sense here so the guys have a general idea how to do it, you know, uh, I guess you could say internal frame, for lack of a better term. If you have a better term, go ahead and use it. And then also, guys, everything I'm about to say, you don't have to struggle with on your own. You don't have to struggle with all this stuff with women on your own. I do offer one-to-one -one consultations. It is a fair trade of value. So if you are struggling, hit me up, go to the website, book a consultation, we'll get you sorted out. I have a 100% positive rating. I've actually asked guys to give me a negative rating. I've asked guys to give me a negative rating and they're just like, they, they, the worst I got was we started our session late. So that, that should tell you something. And I ain't just like do consultation with two dudes, you know, <laughs> it's been quite a few. So let's get into this right here, this material that I want to talk about because I got to be fast. Guys, understand your intrinsic value and your built value. We know for a fact that men need to build value, women need to maintain it. And Andrew Tate and uh, uh, Rich Cooper talk about this all the time. Rich Cooper said, do, does, he calls it do the work. Andrew Tate talks about like, you know, building yourself and whatever else. Listen, everything that comes with building yourself is for you. You don't build yourself to get the woman. The woman is just a reward for doing the hard work and putting in the effort and getting your accomplishments where they're supposed to be, okay? The fat car, the fat house, the fat watches, the fat booty, that's all for you. You earn that, you deserve it. You know how women walk around with that attitude of entitlement, I deserve this? They walk around with that entitlement because they have built in value. You have built value and it's not equal. Your built value is worth significantly more than a woman's value that she needs to maintain. But women walk around with this arrogance and these big old heads because they have value and they know it. The problem is a lot of guys fail to understand their value after they've built it. And even if you haven't built it and you're in the process of building it, you need to understand your value, okay? And you need to act accordingly. Have no problem whatsoever in canceling these chicks in the same way that they have, you know, in canceling you. And this isn't a tit for tat, you know, a, a bitter mentality I'm talking about here. That's not what I'm, I'm trying to promote. It's a matter of understanding your worth and your value. Just imagine if everything was equal in the world. You were born with male value, she's born with female value. Let's equate male value to money. You're born with 100 million, a billion, whatever your number is in the bank. I'm gonna run with 100 million. Now, all you have to do as a man is maintain your 100 million value. And all a woman has to do is maintain her physical value, which is impossible because you get old and she loses it, the wall hits. But it would be an equal world and you'd have men who completely just make it rain and waste their money and waste their value on every frivolous thing that comes along. Just like women waste their value on bad food, no exercise, and screwing just anyone and anything that comes across their path that they find, you know, gives them tingles in the pants. This is how she wrecks her value. It's easy. It's easy when you're born with value. All you have to do, your hard work is maintaining it. And this is why we find that women are miserable in the modern world, because they said, we want everything that men have. We want to be equal. And they went into the work world and they found out that that hard work, it's really hard work and it's no fun and it's made them miserable. They want to take their value and I don't care, I'll argue any woman till she's blue in the face. You want to take your value and capitalize on it by getting a high value man. The problem is they all think they deserve Chad Thundercock million Millionaire. They all want the rich movie stars. They all want the Andrew, Tate that's, the Andrew Tate that's just there for them. They think they deserve that, but they don't. Guys, you need to behave like women a hundred times over when you have value because it took work to get where you are. All she has to do is maintain what she has, and that's not difficult. I think you guys know that once you get to a certain level physically in terms of working out, all maintaining is significantly easier than building it up, okay? This isn't, this isn't like, you know, rocket science. So when you get there, you need to be on the cancel mode with these chicks like women are on cancel mode with you. Don't have a scarcity mindset. Just like when we walk down the street and we see that hot babe and we're like, I'm gonna go holler at her. That's how you are to them as a man who's built his value. Guys, you have value. 
do not be afraid to exercise it. Don't be shamed by women for exercising it and letting it be known that you have value, okay? Make them work for it. That's why so many women think they can just come in and run dudes over. Because I made a comparison on my uh, on Twitter yesterday. It's like, you're gonna build a ship and then just let a brigand come in and take control of the boat? Look at Prince Harry. This is a classic example. Okay, you know, he's kind of born with his intrinsic value and he's just wasting it, actually. This is, he's a perfect example of a man doing what women do. He's born with a value as a prince and he's wasting it. But anyway, back to my comparison of ship. You don't build a ship and then let just someone come along and take the helm because they don't give a damn about running it into the rocks because they didn't build it. And you went through the blood, sweat, and tears. That is your ship. You are the captain. Be freaking proud. No mutinies, no insurrections. What? Throw them overboard. And that's what you need to do with these crazy old thoughts and women out there who think they're gonna just come in and just treat you like whatever. Nah, what are you talking about? I'm the captain of this ship. You see this thing? You see this boat we on? Bitch, are you crazy? Look, take a look around you. Luxury stuff, I got, you know, cannons and stuff, and I got bling bling, you know, mermaids on the front of the ship, and all that stuff that people used to do back in the day when they built ship. That's your life. She don't get to come on board and just act like whatever, you know, muddy boots on the deck. You get her mopping the deck, she ain't gonna mop her the deck. You put a plank out and you kick her off of it. This is how you need to be with these women when you build your value as a man, okay? Guys, don't back down off of this and thank me later because I, I'm not even ashamed of it. I got hit with the divorce mill. I got hit with it, but I just didn't whine and complain. I just got back to building my business. I'm on rebuild mode at 47 years old. You know what I do? I got multiple women and I don't take crap from any woman who comes along trying to get in the door because I got value. I know I can build value and I'm right back at it. They're watching it real time. Accelerate it. So what's your excuse? Get to it, dudes. Again, you need help with this stuff, man, hit me up, because I got the experience. I've been there, I've done that. Help multiple dudes who have. This is your man, Abu American. Catch me on Twitter. I'm out.